up YouTube, Owen here, bring you another Minecraft video actually, um, this one's slightly different, this is on a server I play on and um, it's using the Direwolf 20 pack mods, um, the one I'm going to be particularly showing you is uh, Thormcraft, or Thermcraft, if that's how you pronounce it, um, but yeah me and my friend um, who you saw on the little intro bit um, have been dabbling with it quite a bit and yeah we really enjoy it so I thought I'd show you some bits um, I'm going to show you something that's really cool though on this poor little piggy okay if it works oh I did not expect that to do that and that was really loud uh, let me turn that down a bit because ouch yeah that's a bit loud uh, so let's do it at 30 okay um, so yes, I didn't expect that pig to turn into a zombie pigman. Let's see if it happens again. But yeah, that's my cool wand. It, I've got a lightning wand. No, that just stayed. Uh, okay, that was interesting. I have to tell my friend all about that. Okay, so um, obviously you can tell we're in the real world. It's some slight difference. They're like slime islands, and I've fallen in. Fallen in. Hole. Okay. Um, so this is our little. <laughs> we kind of made like a little floating island. Um, so this is like the the biome that we've kind of like we're going to explore and stuff. You see on the floor these are um, warding paving stones. So basically, it stops about ninety percent of. Uh, it's kind of night time. Oh, cool. Ninety uh, percent of mods coming through. Um, they can't really get through here anyway. Um, but yeah, um, might come back in a minute and do some more killing. Love the killing! Oh, um, okay, so let me show you through here. I mean, look, I designed it so like you got these like, and they're both on the top as well. So it stops mo mobs forming up there. So like little fireplaces, and then you got the torches, and then that, and it just goes along to up here. But um, if there was any mobs that did spawn, um, there's, I put some more of these like warding stones here, so it should stop them coming across. This is our uh, my friend just left the game. Um, this is the portal to obviously the Nether. Um, this is um, uh, we actually have portal guns on this, and I was lucky enough to find one in the dungeon. So this will take us to where. I really need to go which is this is like a magic forest basically um, so this is where we find like things called nodes um, nodes is where we get this this is what you see in the top left hand corner of the screen that gives us basically um, all the magic um, and there's loads of different types You've got air fire and stuff like that I was just seeing if there's anything around to kill oh yeah Yeah, there you go. Killed me some zombies. So let's uh let's go and show you some more bits now. So yeah, so this is basically the forest where we come to, to like sap all the energy from the air nodes, so like all the magic energy. Okay, um this is just a little house that we're gonna be making. It's a work in progress. We kinda of left it at the moment because we don't really come back here very often. So this is where I'm gonna take you. This is take this is to the Twilight Forest. So here we go. And uh, the first thing I will show you is back this way. Um, this is the, the house that I built. It took me ages because I did it by myself. And I made it out of compressed cobblestone. But yeah, it took me a long, long time. I'll take you around to the front. Um, there is another portal there. That's where our old house used to be. Um, but we don't really use that anymore. But yeah, this is the front. Um, so yeah, I mean it looks cool. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It looks different. Uh, let me take you through, give you a bit of a tour. Uh, so this is the the ground floor. I mean, it's not there's not much in here at the moment. Um, if you're wondering why there's like cake and all these different things out, is because we use um, this thing, which is a, th a thermometer. Basically, when you scan objects in the world, it gives you. I don't think this one works. Oh no got a bit further back let me see if I can show you see it does that um, and if you if it works it will do a pinging sound and tell you what magic it's got in it 
but the ones see like this one I've scanned and it's um it's all these all so basically you use this to scan the world and you get more points in your magic where which then you can use for research points so that's pretty cool. Um so yeah these are all our chests with like metals, ores. they they were pretty much they were like just got stuff in them like that but unfortunately as we've been doing stuff we've just been dumping stuff everywhere but yeah that's all that and then if you come around through here we've got some more chests because we need a lot of stuff so like redstone but again look it's just been loads of stuff to dump to them these are all the stuff that we just don't know what we're going to do with them yet or what they're for because um, me and my friend are still quite new to the mods so we're just kind of like doing one at a time so yeah they're, they're basically just chests so not very exciting that's my friend there so I'll take you around uh, this is like a little little um, mine that he's my friend dug out um, just so we can get some bits I'm not going to go all the way down but yeah there's not really much in there Okay, so if I uh, show you upstairs, oh, let's show you this. this is pretty cool. This is um, my XP drain. So basically, all the XP that I've learned, I don't have to lose every time I go out killing and stuff or get killed. So I basically it gets siphoned into here. So when I actually need it, I just take it all back out. So I take it up to the second floor. Um, this is going to be our trophy room, but uh, we um, we we had loads of trophies in here, but we needed them. Oh, I'll show you. What was one left? I was two. Yeah, one left and that. Um, that's our trophy room, and out the back, it's like a little balcony. You can stand and have a look. Um, this was all flat. We like my friend put like planted all these trees because we need them quite a lot. Gets deforest quite often. Uh, okay, so if I take you to the third floor, you have to go back down to access the third floor. That's where I designed it. I've got to move that because he put that there and it looks stupid. Well. So, yep, yeah, these are the steps to the third floor. Um, which side is this? Okay, yeah, so this is um, this is going to be like the enchanting tower. Uh, that's what I made it. I know, it looks, but like it's got a glass dome over it. So that looks sick. I really like that. Uh, this is a uh, Bibliocraft, don't ask me now what the hell that is, I have no idea, so, like, so again it's something that we're going to dabble in, but yeah we've got our enchanting table, but we ain't filled it up with books yet, but it's something we're going to do, we like to do some dungeons and go raiding and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the house, let me show you the um, the, the farm, it's going to be like a farm, oh, I'll show you this side, it's not actually, this is just my room, I just made it nothing in it, just a room, just empty. Right, let me show you the farm. To the farm! The only reason I'm showing the farm because this is really cool. Yeah, come out wrong. There we go. Okay, so basically, so me and my friend obviously didn't want to farm, so we've got these like one block high golems to do it for us. So you've got two out there who actually like, when it, they're ready to be harvested, they harvest them and this guy's the collector. And he'll just stand there waiting for the small stuff. And we made them. They're they're awesome. I love them. They look like that's Pete. And that's Bob. And this one's Charlie. Charlie's a lazy one out of the, all of them, and he also has a drinking problem, but it's fine. We've got our uh, little animal farm down here. Um, as you can see, it's uh getting kind of full. Um, this is our witchery hut, and this is our stone circle. Where this basically this is where we um, we can summon demons and trade with them, and sometimes get killed by them. Um, again, this is our Urghast, one of one of the dungeons we did in the, this this twilight forest. There's loads. Uh, let me just show you this. Really, it's not really. It's it's quite cool. It's got a cauldron and this all the witchery stuff. We kind of left this for the time being because we're more concentrating on therm. Oh, <gasps> sorry, kitty. But I'll tell him that I accidentally. That's my friend's cat. And I accidentally electrocuted it. Whoops. Okay, let me uh, let me take you over here. So um, if you come through here, 
and you can see look this is a really not very nice is it it's not very big you know not very big for what we need it like I've got research table but aha cunning right let me say you ran here then so this is uh, where we do all our enchanting and magic this is our um, crucible where we can turn any raw item into magic and sometimes it goes horribly wrong and it spits out this purple goo thing that can kill us this is the distillery where we turn objects into this um, this is obviously this is what we use for magic um, this is what we basically all this we can use to um, enchant enchant items and gear and stuff again another room full of chests this is my fr oh yeah oh, I've got to show you these look these are our little stands this is mine I'm Gandalf and he's Rincewind he really likes uh, Terry Pratchett um, so look I've got this is my this is his chest, chest and this is mine so it's got, I've got some like research notes in it stuff I've got to still do and he's I don't know what he's got on his. So yeah, that's um, the distillery. And obviously this is the room that you saw at the beginning of the video. So this is uh, this is where the magic happens. So basically that 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 is what we use to enchant stuff like you saw at the beginning. That was, it's so sick. Over here this is like a wand recharger. So let me just, uh, cause I need to recharge my wand anyway. There you go. So it'll take off, it'll take out all the magic that I need. That I'm running low on, on the wand, which he's done already. It took us ages to dig out this room and make it the way it looks. I think it looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. And this is our in infernal furnace. This will automatically spit out food and stuff. You just put the wheat in the top and that and it just like kicks it all out. Um and that is that is pretty much it guys. Um I just wanted to show you what like what we've been doing, I think it looks really cool. We're going to probably expand, actually. I've, I've, take it in there. So we're probably going to have to do another room because there's so much more equipment we need to do. So basically, we're going to go that way. So straight ahead, we'll cut off out into there and make another room. Probably make it a little bit different so it looks different from this one. But this room looks amazing. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, and you know, if there's anything you want to ask me, I'll try and answer questions. I don't, you know, I'm still learning quite a lot about this, so. It's still a big learning curve for me, but it is awesome. I do enjoy it. Um, I hope you guys have liked looking around. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.